guys, I'm sure the title of this video gives it away, but it, it is indeed opening night of Pirates of Penzance. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I've been in rehearsal for this, so it's so weird to say that now, six weeks into the rehearsals and the costume fittings and the press and everything else and moving into the theater, we are finally opening the show tonight. I couldn't have asked for a better morning here in Columbus, Ohio. It is a nice 65 degrees, cloudy, like just a chilly morning. I like those kind of mornings. I took a walk this morning just to kind of wake up and take a deep breath and kind of just prepare myself for what was going to happen today. And I just really enjoyed the weather. I then went to work. It's a nice, quiet, slow day. I spent most of the day just kind of preparing things for next week and drinking a lot, a lot of water. Right now I'm going to pick up some lunch. I'm debating between a few restaurants and I'm going to get me some warm beverage at Starbucks. I was debating getting the pumpkin spice latte, but I told myself I wasn't going to get it until after the show opened. It's kind of like a treat, like, hey, you survived. This entire week I have been meal prepping all of my breakfast, lunches, and dinners. I actually walked into my work office this week. I took the Sunday off, the one day we had off from the theater, I went out and I grocery shopped and I made a whole list of breakfast, lunches, and dinners and I spent the entire day prepping them and then I walked into my office Monday morning with the largest bag of just Tupperware and divided like bento boxes. The bento boxes I use are actually linked down below in the description. They are the best I've ever found. They're dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe, and they're just good quality. I've had them over six months. I cannot tell you how much money they have saved me because they keep me from going out and buying lunches when I have things prepared in my office. Although today we're going to treat a little bit differently because again, it is opening night. That just doesn't get old to say. It's opening. But anyway, I'm going to run into the Starbucks, get me something to drink and then pick up some lunch and then it's back to the office for just probably another hour and a half to two hours to get some things finalized. I have one or two phone calls I'm waiting to come in before I leave. And then if I do have a little bit of downtime in the office, I like to look at my editorial calendar, check with the clients I work with. I now have five clients I work with in social media marketing, whether they have a YouTube channel, a website, Instagram, Facebook, something they want to build with their platform. So I've been trying to get our Skype sessions, you know, put together and organized at least seven to 10 days in advance. So we know time differences and we know what we're going to talk about. I have a little form I'm putting together for all the clients to let them know, like, here's what we're going to do. Here's where you are and where you want to be. It's a lot easier to work with people when we both know we're on the same page of where we are, where we want to be, how we're going to get there and the timeline of goals. Quick shout out to Mary Sink who did bring me coffee and came to my house to do the test makeup run. I do have some footage from that. It happened on Labor Day, which was really nice to not have to work on that Monday. So it was a four day week this week. But here's a little bit of footage of what she did to make me Mabel in Pirates of Penzance. Now. I will meet you guys back here with some Starbucks. All right, we are back. Starbucks fall drinks are starting strong, not with the pumpkin spice latte, but with the salted caramel mocha with almond milk. I'm trying to get into the habit of when I have coffee drinks from Starbucks that are not cold brew coffee. Because I can get cold brew coffee completely black, nothing in it, and be fine. But when I want to get warm drinks to, you know, warm up the voice and just keep, you know, warm fluids going, um, I'm going to try to do almond milk instead of dairy. I'm not lactose intolerant. I've just noticed that my skin is a lot clearer when I do that. And I also make a habit of whenever I get one Starbucks drink, I also order the largest venti water and I have to drink two of these per one of these. 
I also got an email. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got an email from the documentary NBC show. If you missed that, I'll link it in the cards as well because it's too long to explain. Um, they emailed and said, hey, we need a few more things from you. Can you please email back? And I emailed back like while in the Starbucks line, so we'll see what they want. And if they let me know by the time I'm filming this, I will definitely include it in the vlog. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Going to the theater, the theater. Do you guys want to see what I see when I leave my house? Do you... Come here. Desiree. Apparently she doesn't miss us very much. Still going strong. I'm on my third of these. And then down here I have the striped bag has my shoes and tights, and the red bag has my makeup and my hair extension. Because I don't use my natural hair in this show. Mm -mm. Anyway, guys, it is time to go backstage for opening night. Downtown Columbus. It is so beautiful out today. All right, I am here at my theater. I just walked down just to see the skyline that I just shared with you guys. This is the parking for our patrons, and I am headed into that theater because this hair and this makeup, we got some work to do. I will see you guys on the other side. It's opening night. It's yes, opening it night. Are you excited? This is a horrible sure. shot because of the light's behind us, but... I, <laughs> I don't have makeup on. I don't have lips or eyes right now. I'm, I still have to get my makeup on. I have some on, but... Yes, Mabel's bringing the 80s back. I know, right? This is Mary, and we wish we had her every night. Hi you guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning, so the morning after opening. We just got our first official review here in the Columbus Dispatch. I will link it down below. It is a really great review. I was very thankful, very excited, and very happy with the review as it is kind of the off day. It's my Saturday morning. I let myself sleep in. I didn't do anything to this hair. I have absolutely no makeup on, glasses, kind of hanging out in my Falcons jacket. I live in Columbus, Ohio, so the Buckeyes are the religion of this area, but I went to Bowling Green State University, so I wear my Falcons jacket because it's just super comfortable and I've had it since college. Anyway, like I said earlier in the vlog yesterday, I was going to celebrate opening by getting a pumpkin spice latte. I actually planned on being here a little early, but yesterday when I got home from the show, I had a voicemail from the producer I had worked with uh, for the NBC audition. If you missed that whole spiel, I will link it above in the cards because it's far too long to explain once again. But they had asked me to do an online interview with them and I sent it all in and I got a call yesterday saying, hey Kristen, we're considering you right now. We're gonna spend this whole next week kind of narrowing down who's gonna be in the show with us. We need a lot more video of you doing shows off of ships, headshots, pictures, video. What can you send us? So I came home after the show and stayed up till about 1, 1 in the morning just sending them video and pictures. And I think next week they'll be able to give me some more information, but right now. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will have another big update from NBC once I'm allowed to let you guys know in the future and once I get all the details, I will definitely let you guys know. I'm gonna let my castmate Nick say bye, you guys. Hold on. We finished the show! It's over! We opened it. Well, it's, it's over. <laughs> we, we have to go strike the stage now. 11, bye! 11 more. We just, we have a lot more. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just kidding, we this, have like 12 more shows. This group of older ladies. The old ladies love us. <laughs> they were like, this is our favorite opera. You guys can sing. We were surprised. 
Except for me, they knew I could sing. Do you have anything to say? You got so many compliments from strangers! Oh. Any compliments? Press subscribe. Do you want to close it out here? I'll help you, okay? Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, you should go ahead and do that right now. Click the little red button below. Every time she updates a video, uploads a video, it'll update you. This is going to be so hard to edit. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs>